प्रोजेक्ट रोयल एटीन एडजस्टेबल टाइमर बेस्ड ऑटोमेटिक सैनिटाइजर डिस्पेंसर इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू ऑटोमेटिक सैनिटाइजर डिस्पेंसर और टचलेस सैनिटाइजर डिस्पेंसर आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉट यू हाउ टू मेक एन टचलेस सैनिटाइजर डिस्पेंसर बट आई हैवेंट टोल्ड यू हाउ टू एडजस्ट टाइमर ऑफ योर सिस्टम और ऑफ योर पम्प एट हाउ मच ड्यूरेशन इट विल रन और इट शुड बी स्टॉप आफ्टर अ सर्टन पर्टिकुलर टाइम ऑफ डिले आई हैवन टोल यू दैट सो इन दिस वीडियो I will introduce in this tutorial. I will teach you how to make an adjustable timer-based touchless sanitizer dispenser. Here you can adjust the timing of your pump or solenoid valve. Okay, moving on. You are watching Tronix Technical Project with Sushil Yadav. Okay, in this project, first of all, we will gather all the components or modules which we are requiring for our project. Okay, first of all, we need a twelve volt five ampere DC adapter. You can use any twelve volt five ampere DC adapter, but for a long duration and durability, you have to use a twelve volt five ampere or two ampere SMPS if you want to run it for a very long time. Okay, moving on, you need an Arduino Uno board, an ultrasonic sensor. एंड वन के पोटेंशियोमीटर वी कॉल दिस एंड पोटेंशियोमीटर और पॉट इट शुड बी बिटवीन वन के टू फाइव के ओके मूविंग ऑन वी नीड एन फाइव वोल्ट रिले एंड ट्वेल्व वोल्ट डी सी पंप यू कैन यूज एनी ट्वेल्व वोल्ट डी सी पंप अप टू फाइव एम्पियर In between one ampere to five ampere. If you want to use a twelve volt power supply, twelve volt SMPS or power supply, then you have to use a buck converter and convert that twelve volt into uh, convert that twenty four volt into twelve volt. Because our Arduino Uno board can take maximum up to twelve volt. That's why in this project, in this project or in this condition. we can directly connect the output of 12 volt adapter to our arduino uno board at pin number we input for positive and ground for negative okay so if you want to use 12 volt 24 volt power supply then you can use an uh, buck converter to step down or you can use an voltage regulator ic7805 to convert that 12 24 volt into 5 volt DC. Okay, moving on. Uh, these are the components which are we are uh, we are going to use. And diode, DC five four seven transistor amplifier. Here we are also going to use a diode for safety for reverse polarity protection. If you will connect uh, wrong wires or if you connect wrong polarity, means positive. If we connect positive to the ground and negative to the V input, then our Arduino Uno board will burn. so protect it from reverse polarity we 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 are using and diode we are using an in 400007 diode to for reverse polarity protection okay moving on these are the pin configuration of our ultrasonic sensor okay first of all connect the positive output of 12 volt adapter with positive of I N four zero zero seven diode. Okay, uh, in any adapter you have to find out. In any adapter you can find two wires of different colors. You have to find wire found out which wire is of which polarity by using multimeter. Because if you connect wrong polarity wire here, then your system will not start. It will protect it from burning, but it will not start. Okay, so connect the positive output of your twelve volt DC supply to the positive of i n 4007 diode okay moving on after that connect it with the v input of connect it with the v input of arduino uno board after that connect the ground with the second pin or second wire of your 12 volt adapter okay as you can see that here in the ground you can connect the second wire in the ground okay 
मूविंग ऑन कनेक्ट द ग्राउंड फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड फोर्थ फोर्थ पिन द ग्राउंड पिन विद द ग्राउंड ऑफ ऑडिनो उनो बोर्ड यू कैन आल्सो कनेक्ट इट आल्सो कनेक्ट इट इन बिटवीन देयर आर टू ग्राउंड ऑप्शन सो यू कैन कनेक्ट द ग्राउंड ऑफ दिस अल्ट्रासोनिक सेंसर एट द अदर ग्राउंड पिन ऑप्शन फर्स्ट लेट मी शो यू दिस इज अदर टू ग्राउंड ऑप्शन यू कैन कनेक्ट इट एनी ओके मूविंग ऑन कनेक्ट द वी सी सी विद द पॉजिटिव फाइव वोल्ट आउटपुट कनेक्ट द वी सी सी और फर्स्ट पिन ऑफ अल्ट्रासोनिक सेंसर फर्स्ट पिन ऑफ अल्ट्रासोनिक सेंसर हेयर टू द फाइव वोल्ट दिस इज एन आउटपुट फाइव वोल्ट सो कनेक्ट द फाइव वोल्ट टू द फाइव वोल्ट ऑफ अल्ट्रासोनिक सेंसर ओके मूव ऑन कनेक्ट द इको पिन पिन नंबर थर्ड इको पिन विथ पिन नंबर ए टू हेयर पिन नंबर ए टू ओके कनेक्टेड विथ पिन नंबर ए टू हेयर एंड आफ्टर दैट कनेक्ट द इको पिन और सॉरी कनेक्ट द ट्रिगर पिन पिन नंबर सेकेंड द ट्रिगर पिन विथ पिन नंबर ए वन As you can see that here at pin number A one. Okay, moving on. Connect the ground ground wire with the one pin of potentiometer and positive five volt with the other pin of potentiometer. Okay, moving on. The third pin we called as the wiper pin. Connect the wiper pin with pin number A zero. Pin number A zero of Arduino Uno board. After that, moving on. Connect the pin number eight. Pin number eight is the output pin uh, from which we are going to give signal to the BC five four seven transistor amplifier. So connect it with the one K resistor and connect that resistor with the base. Connect this wire with the base of BC five four seven resistor. As I mentioned here, the uh, the first pin is collector, the middle pin is base, and the third pin is emitter. Okay, so. Moving on, emitter pin is known as the ground pin. So we have to connect that emitter to the ground. Oh, sorry. Okay. After that, connect that ground to the middle pin of this relay. In the five volt DP DT relay, you can see a one, two, three, three pins here. So you have to connect the ground of emitter. the ground coming out from the emitter uh, let me show you clearly okay the ground wire coming out from the emitter or you can directly connect it from uh, connect it from the ground connect this ground wire to the middle of three pin okay after that connect there are the three pins first second and third so connect the first pin with the positive of in 40007 diode and after that connect the other third pin with the negative of in 40007 diode okay after that connect there are the two two other pins also which are known as NO and NC. NO means normally open and NC means normally closed. So normally closed means it it is always connected, and NO means it is it will connect whenever the transistor whenever it will get a five volt supply at pin number one and third, then it will then it will close the circuit. Okay, connect the NO pin normally open pin with. one wire of 12 volt dc pump okay after that moving on connect the other wire connect the second wire of dc pump to the before in in 4007 diode you should have to connect it directly with the 12 volt okay before 4n IN four zero zero seven diode. Okay. 
because we have to, we want to give it full supply full power supply that's why okay okay after that we have corrected we have given connect the collector pin the first pin with the positive or you can also say that the first pin of relay okay connect the collector with the first pin of relay okay after that connect the third pin with the positive 5 volt always remember that connect the third pin of 5 volt relay with the 5 volt supply because this is a 5 volt relay you can't connect it with 12 volt supply okay so connect this third pin with 5 volt supply okay so now we our all the circuit all the connections are completed we will see how to control it so whenever you will move your potentiometer whenever you will move your potentiometer by anything any like a screwdriver or something uh, this section will, can be rotated so rotate il, rotate it a little bit okay rotate it a little bit uh, in clockwise direction and check that your system can be adjusted for a time delay in between 1 second to 5 second okay just by rotating your potentiometer a little bit you can adjust your time so adjust the time according to your need in between 1 second to 5 second and start your system okay thank you for watching you can download the code from the link below okay thank you